What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pillkit. I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, today we're gonna be talking about True Familia Royale, enemy number one. Enemy number one is live. Uh, two goes live in a couple of days, but for now, you really want to try to do your best on this first enemy. And this one might surprise you. Actually, we have some older units in the game that are actually gonna be really good for this. So let's go and talk about this, okay? First, the UFO is Abyss Grudge Weaver. Uh, Dragon Killer is effective, so you want to use units with Dragon Killer. Now that we have the Killer Filter in the game, it's going to make it a lot easier to find those units. Wind and Light Attacks are effective. Enemy skills, allies, in other words, your foes, uh, endurance and magic resistance plus 30%. So don't use magic units, you want to use physical units. Uh, secondly, damage, uh, attacks, single targets, minus 50%. So it's basically going to negate the ability uh, to utilize single target attacks to get that big score. You really want to attack these guys with the AOE units. Uh, and they're going to attack with a seal ailment. So you want to make sure that you have seal anklets or an anti-seal on your team. Um, so physical resistance is down 50%. Magic is neutral, but remember that is then going to be buff 30%. So you might as well consider that 30%. Fire and uh, fire is up 40. Earth is up 20. Water, thunder, and dark are all neutral, where wind and light are down 30%. So you really want to use wind and light uh, dragon killers. Now it says here, uh, wind light attacks are effective. Uh, Sister Progenitor Nagisa can be used to increase wind attack damage. And that's true. Actually, she'd be really good for this. Uh, that said, we have a better unit for that. Also, using an all-target attacker like dra with Dragon Killer, like Lafolia or Sayaka, would also be a good choice. Now, my Sayaka isn't maxed. Um, I'm going to be using someone else. And we'll go into that here in a minute. The enemy uses skills to inflict seal, but this can be prevented with Royal Sword Princess Eyes in your party. Let's go ahead and pull up my party here real quick. All right. So we're in uh, Familia Royale, boss number one. Let's say boss number two goes live here in a couple of days. And this is the team that I'm actually going to be using. Um, you know, there's something to be said for this, but if I'm honest, I think this team is going to be just fine. I think, I hope. Uh, I might want to throw Sayaka on here. We'll see what happens. But uh, the two fins are both dragon killers, and the easiest way to determine who you're going to use for this team, if you go to filter now, not only can you do physical, four star, wind and light, but then if you go down here, you can actually choose dragon killers. So that's perfect, and it'll give you a short list of units that are here. Now, the free to play uh, Yukina is down there, she's a respectable option. Probably not the best because she is free to play. She's going to be limited. Um, Sayaka is there, but in my opinion, Sayaka is lacking a little bit. Now, I, once again, I have not maxed Little Broken her. I've not put any bonds into her, so I really don't know for 100%. Uh, Naza's here as well, but Naza, remember, Naza is single target. So she's at a bit of a deficit. So I'm really going to use the two fins, the light fin and the wind fin. They're both dragon killers with a folia. That's going to be my team. I think that's going to be the most effective team. And for assists, um, obviously I've got uh, Lina here for, and I need to put the, uh, need to go ahead and put the swap angle on her before I forget. There we go. Because I will forget that otherwise. On her, I've actually got attached to the Harahime that does AoE damage. Um, there is another AoE assist, but I don't have that unit max limit broken, so it is a thing. Uh, on Finn, the first Finn, the wind Finn, I actually have the Duck Hestia. Ducky Hestia does wind attack damage, but she also is a really, really, really good strength buffer. So she's going to find a great home there. She's going to give everybody 15% strength, but she also has a really high strength stat herself. So she's a really good choice for this team. On Lafolia, I actually have uh, Ares. Ares is going to debuff light attack damage. Should not be any magic or mystery as to why I'm using that unit. You use it all the time. Just allows your physical units to do more damage. Finally, on the light fin... I actually have attached the uh, Finn Assist. Not because I'm memeing, literally just because he's the next best unit with the next best physical, physical stat. Actually, uh, let's double check that. Yeah, actually, it's slightly better than Erebus's physical stat. Erebus's physical stat is four, uh, 434, but I will say Erebus does one thing 
That is light resist 20%, but also strength and magic plus 20%. So I actually feel like I'm going to put Erebus there. And then I'm going to put Finn right there. I think I'm going to make that one change. I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference, but I feel like the 20% strength might actually make the difference in the 10% or the, the 10 damage on the stat. I think that the 20% is going to pay out a little bit better. So I think that actually is going to be a slight modification here. Finally, and I promise talking about a unit that is going to give us uh, some better stats than, uh, uh, than Nagisa. This Seer. This Seer... Now, she does 20% magic to everybody. That's not really not going to affect anybody in this situation. But she does, the, she does light and wind attack damage up 15%. So if you're paying attention, we have a wind debuffer in the front. That is in the form of Ducky Hestia. Okay. Wind and water resist down 15%. I've got a light debuffer in the form of... Come on, let's do it this way. Erebus. And that is, of course... Uh, light resist down 20%, so lights are going to do a lot more damage then. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Seer that is going to increase the attack damage. So, there you go. That is a really stellar team. Um, I have not done a run on this yet. I'm going to go ahead and just negate skill flow for now and do just a base level run. See where we get. This is literally my first run. I'm doing this right now here live with you guys. And I'm actually going to pull out my stylus. Come on, go away. And do this uh, the scientific way. So, we're going to go ahead and do Spotlight on her. You know what? I realized I did. Did I give? I don't think I gave. Because I didn't talk about her. I don't believe I actually gave uh, Ana Kitty what she needs. Now, we do have 99 runs a day. So, yeah. No, I did not. So, that would have been very, very frustrating. Here we go. And let's go ahead and throw her on there. There we go. Um, so, why is she here? Basically for some of the debuffing. Uh, she is slightly redundant. I'm actually going to replace her, but I don't have the build quite yet to make that happen. So I'm actually going to show off this team. And then I'll start working on doing a little bit more damage. But like I said, you got 99 turns. So if you screw one up like this, don't be afraid to go out back, go out and go back in. You got 99 chances. You're going to be fine. And of course, one thing I don't ever cover, but it's not really that important. Uh, there are um, different difficulties now. Oh, come on. Don't start this nonsense. There are different difficulties. There's a, a normal, a hard, and then a very hard. I always do very hard. Most people watching this video should be more than capable of handling very hard. If not, obviously you can do uh, the other, either one of the other difficulties to get your damage out, but... Most people are going to be doing very hard, just re realistically speaking. All right, general buff stack. This is going to be wind resist 40%. And we're just going to buff and debuff accordingly. Yeah, let's go. And notice all three of my units are dragon killers, so they're all going to get really good scores here. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and do, let's see, we're going to do this here. This is going to do physical resist 30% and uh, should do wind resist as well. Physical and wind resist down 30%. That's going to just help us do a little bit more damage. Wind resist is already down 40% and physical is already down 30%. So it's actually, like I said, it's kind of redundant. Uh, I do have someone else I want to put here, but I've got to get that person uh, somewhat buffed up here. Now... This one is interesting. Physical resist and magic resist. I don't believe there are any here. Actually, there there is magic resist. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm actually just going to go straight for the throat with him. There we go. We're going to go straight for the throat and do some wind attack damage. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do next uh, buff stacks on these two. And let's go. Now, you could probably already tell who I would probably replace on this team. Uh, but for now, I am going to kind of continue down this particular path. All right. So Haruhime is in here, and we do not have any debuffs. But I'm going to need to heal on this turn because we're getting hit hard. 
All right. So we'll do a debuff now with... Uh, yeah, we'll, we're going to do a debuff with her, which means... This is super light. I should have done this first. That's okay. So I've done uh, Lafolia's buff backwards. That's okay. We'll do that. And then that. Uh, that is a faux singular attack. So we'll just continue doing the super class attack. Let's see. He doesn't get any extra attacks. Let's see. This fin. That is a faux singular. So yeah. Actually, I take that back. That's a... Uh, both I did, I did a single target attack with Finn on turn two, so I'm actually going to do those two attacks again. I'm so used to these new units that do th uh, three times um, uh, AOE attacks that I've gotten out of, out of practice with these units, to be honest. So my skill pool is going to look a little sloppy, but I can fix that. So let's go ahead and do this. So she her build is a 1-3-2, and then you do two for... You know, three turns and then rebuff. Whereas these two are just going to be one, two, one, two punches, pretty much. Lego. So, barring my uh, minor faux pas there with my with my skill flow, we should now be pretty much able to run things on our own. Did we not do that again? Hold on. We did not. I thought we had selected that one. So let's try that one more time. Apparently it is in a mood. All right, now I need to start planning this out because this fin only has strength 30% and no wind damage. So I really need to buff his wind damage. This uh, fin is good to go for a bit. And uh, Lafolia should have as well. Uh, no light damage. Did they? Does she not buff her light? No. I take that back. I think she doesn't. No, she does light debuffing. Strength. That's right. She doesn't do light damage. So that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna be able to handle this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, buff with Haruhime. And do her skill too, so we get that nice debuff out. Let's go. Now, once again, I'm kind of going through all of this. Uh, this is my first run through of it, so it's a little sloppy. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but you know, there's a learning process behind all this. Boom. So now we're getting some pretty good hits. Everybody's got 100% strength. We want to keep that in play. Not everybody has their element buff, but that's going to be okay. Uh, I actually have a way we can do even better, uh, even without the elemental buff. So let's go ahead. She's going to go back to doing that, and literally they're just going to continue spamming that. Now the goal here is to finish the foe as quickly as possible. It is built kind of like Wrecker Buster, except it's an AoE and the foe can be defeated. So now that everybody's buffed up, this should be a fairly quick fight, but let's see here. So this is going to do physical resist and light resist down 50%. That'll be really nice. Before we do that, let's make some decisions here. Ally strength and wind attack damage 60%. That'd be really nice to get that 60%. I'm actually think I'm going to save up for a double SA. Yeah. I'm going to save up for a double SA with those two. And actually, in, in hindsight, I wouldn't have done Haruhime's. I would just do a double SA with those, and it'll probably end this fight uh, a lot faster. So that is definitely worth noting. Alright, so we're already looking at a turn 8 finish. And that ain't so bad. But we could probably get a much faster finish. I mean, a much faster finish uh, if we had done it the other way around. But that's okay. Boom. Boom. And we only really need the one SA here. Now, do remember, the way this is scored, and we'll talk about this here in a moment, the way this event is scored, you do want to finish this as quickly as possible and get one really massive hit out. So doing a double or triple attack is going to yield you that better attack. 1.2 mils, actually quite good there. 
Let's go ahead and see. Okay. Okay. Uh, we can do much better than that, though. Much better than that. So as I said before, default score, uh, that's literally just the score you get for ending on that turn. Uh, it says turn 8, and then plus 160%. So anybody that ends a turn 8 is going to have that exact same total score. Now, highest damage received, I got a 1.3 out of thin. And so because of that, it's going to take a percentage of that, add it up to the 11 million, and that is going to be my overall score. So, pretty straightforward. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, um, I can go in here and I can actually edit my scale flow. And I will need to fix a few things. So, first things first, let's make sure Haruhime is not a saying there. Second of all, we want to do a 1-3-2 build with her. And we're going to do our double SA much earlier, so I think I'm just going to stick with that. And that's going to kind of be a thing. Now, I do have one modification I'm going to do here. I'm going to get rid of Anakitty, and I'm going to change her out to do one other thing. But uh, that's going to be probably a video for another time. That's basically how you run this, though. That's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of magic or mystery to it. Go get your high scores, guys. Let me know down in the comment section what kind of scores you were able to pull out. I got 97 turns left, and I got my head working at me. So, like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys with more Damachi uh, really soon. In fact, I got one more uh, planned for tonight.